Hey all. Um, my name is Kevin Douglas Burt. I'm here to provoke thought and move humanity just a little bit. I was talking to my my cousin Mark, the smart guy, the lawyer, not me, because I'm dumb cough, right? And uh, maybe in the future. There and I'm not saying this in any late way. I really this would I think this would be really awesome to have. If Elon is listening or whatever, Neuralink, you can you guys do that, do that. Your family might have went through struggles. Your family might have been pulled apart. Your family might have strong biases and opinions and views, and that has caused you to go astray. If, if, maybe in technology, as your family gets older and you become no longer a sibling, but a professional, we can get a clean slate. No matter grudges, whatever it was, it all starts from zero. Pretty mind blowing too. Everybody has a person, persons that can or cannot be involved in the family, no matter if whatever the circumstances are or might not be. Wouldn't it be nice to say, hey sisters, I don't know what your grudges are. I am very sorry. I would like to bury whatever it is. You're, <laughs> the youngest sibling is going to be 52. Let's stop this bullshit and become a family again. You might not like what I did in the past. I'm not that person. You're not that person. You don't think that same way. You don't feel that same way as many things. A lot of grudges you don't even know in the family. What, where they started and how they just percolated, percolated, percolated. The main reason a family is a family is for support, love, engagement, memories, to bond with your own bloodline. I'll be the first one to say it right now. I am fucking sorry to my sisters. Whatever it is, I am sorry. If it was not my fault, I am sorry. I would like to have a relationship with you folks. I like to have a relationship with you. As I get older, I think about all the times I could have had a relationship with you. Growing up, we were close. It was outside my sister's room, and then um, when she was doing her homework, and then when she was doing her uh, outside and wait for her, and then she opened the door, and then I would sit there right at her desk side, and she'd be doing her thing. She took care of me. They all took care of me. They all took care of me. Really good care of me. They did. He says when they beating the hell out of me, but whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> just kidding. Um, when you become an adult, does an adult include forgiveness? Does an adult include refresh? Does an adult include moving on? Why can't families that have gone through hell, I'm sure you guys know of many, bury whatever the hell it is because life is short, people. Life is short. Only had one sister visit my sons. It is what it is. There's grudges. 
Rightfully so, not rightfully so. It doesn't matter. I don't even visit my son's town, but... When growing up, would I ever have thought that I'd be this alone and not tied to my family? Fuck no. No. We fought like cats and dogs, but we loved each other. We had each other's back. My sister and I has bailed me out of so much shit I can't even begin to talk about. You wouldn't want to see that YouTube channel. Blah. Screw it up again. Screw it up again. Screw it up again. We, my sister, at least, uh, not my sisters, have helped me out. Talking to Mark, my cousin, he's got the same kind of thing with you know, sitting on me too. We all have these inner kind of things. And you think as an adult, clean slate, let's start over. No. I don't whatever you, this, that, or the other, and I'm going to hold that till I am in the ground, until you're in the ground. Why? Hey, everybody, I'm fucking wrong. I'm wrong most of the time. How's that? I am fucking wrong most of the time. And in the past, I was upset and wrong most of the time. And I wasn't grateful. And I wasn't appreciative. And I was self-centered. That's not me anymore. I want only people to enjoy life, experiences, find success, love, and peace in whatever they are doing, including my family. Including my family. And your families too. Absolutely. We have enough of this. We have enough of separation. We have enough conflict. We have enough disassociation. We don't have enough discourse in the things to maintain humanity as a whole. Where do we start? The grudges from the families should be gone. Should be gone. Sisters, I wouldn't be here the way I am, good, bad, or indifferent, without your insight, without you reading to me, without you taking care of me, without you making fun of me, without you including me, without us watching soap operas together. We are a product of our families, like it or not, as much as our environments. Once again, I plead to my sisters, I want to have a relationship with you. And I did everything fucking wrong, and I am very sorry. And I would like to move forward as an adult and actually have some kind of discourse with you folks. My name is Kevin Douglas Berg. Just a thought. Just a thought. You know, you grow up, and we had, I had three older sisters. You grow up and think, I will never have to face a mass of whatever alone. But life doesn't work that way. But God, if life did, and we could all say, let that rest and lets us progress and move humanity forward. Pretty simple. Once again, everybody, I am fucking wrong most of the time. I have no problem with that. I am not the same person I was six months ago. I am not the same person I was a year ago. I am not the same person I was three years ago. Tomorrow I'll be a better person than I am today. That is how we all move me forward. We do our part. And God, if we have a clean course on any family grudges, it'd make everything so much easier. Just a thought. My name's Kevin Douglas Berg. So happy you joined me. This is What Was I Saying, Blog KDB.
And with that, let's pray it out. Pray for you. Pray for me. Pray for little peace. Pray for those coming and going. Pray for those in plane train automobile. Pray for everybody on the highways and byways. Pray for everybody served, has served, served, has served, and post served fighting with PTSD. Pray for those in and out of the hospital on a better day. Pray for all uniform people. Pray for any police women, police men. And pray for all doctors. Pray for you and your workers. Pray for folks. Fuck. You need just a bit. Tap now. Thank you, folks. You're awesome. Thank mm-hmm. you.